One of the best stories about hunting is the story of why we hunt. A lot of it revolves around providing for ourselves and, and providing food. And I think it's something that a lot of people can associate with. Like when you're talking about food stories and knowing what you're putting in your body, I know where all the meat that I get comes from. Um, I was a part of it and I take responsibility for it. I think in so many ways in our day-to-day -day life at home and whatever, everything seems like very controlled. Every day kind of seems the same. And then I go out and it's like, every day is so different. Every day has its own challenges and own struggles. You might be out one day and it's completely snowing on you and you're like, this sucks. And the next day is like the most beautiful scene you've ever seen and the sky is clear and animals everywhere. And it's so dynamic in that aspect where it's a different experience every day. I started hunting as a kid with my dad. And then as I got older, you know, I got to go hunting for myself. And I think my dad, he liked it, but I think I just took it to another level. Like I just really was, it was all I thought about, all I wanted to do. The way that I've always done things is like, whether I know how to do it or not, I just like go out and do it. To get a guiding job, I had no clue how to get a guiding job. I just loaded up my truck, drove to Montana, and was like, I'm just gonna figure it out. Gave myself no other option. I was very successful with my clients and I just put in like so much time, so much time scouting, so much time learning the animals in the area. A few years later, I was about 22 years old, I uh, went off on my own, started my own outfitting business. I just loved being out in the wild. I just tried to like be out in the field as much as I could. Like when I go out in the wild by myself, it's just me, instantaneous decision making. Being responsible for your safety, for your life you make a bad decision crossing the wrong river, you fall and you get wet, you know, you've got to get warm again. I never know what I'm going to encounter. I've had days where I go out and I think it's going to be a normal day and I get attacked by a bear. You know, you just, you do not know what's going to happen. There's this adventure involved. There's like this struggle. There's this challenge. It's about respecting the animal. It's about providing food for my family. When I pull a package of burger out of my freezer, I remember the experience. I remember having to carry that for probably five or six miles on my back, maybe multiple trips and like spending days and time like planning the hunt, getting out there. It might've taken a week. When I take a bite of the burger I pull out of the freezer, I really value that in a certain way that I think a lot of people don't. And just telling that story of, you know, the value you put on wildlife, the value you put on what you're doing, um, because I think it'll resonate with a lot of people. When I'm out hunting and I'm like in the field and I grill some meat over the fire, there's very little seasoning, there's very little anything in it. You're just like, this is the best thing I've ever eaten. And so when I come home, I like to recreate kind of that experience and I know that wild meat and fire go hand in hand. Being able to tie that food story in that, that story of being able to provide for myself and my family is something that's becoming more popular humans would not be here if it were not for being able to be successful procuring your own food. When you're going through the hunting experience, like much of it might be new or foreign, but there's something about it that feels very primal. That you like almost have the same instinct that if, if nobody told you about it, you were just dropped off and you had to survive, you would figure it out. It's because as humans, it's somehow ingrained in our DNA that we are hunters.